match the hatch theory for me is, is like a starting point. You're, you're never going to match the hatch or a forage fish or a crawfish or anything exactly. You're, you're never going to duplicate nature, but it's a good starting point. For example, here we knew we had a perch based forage system. So we'll try all kinds of different colors. Some maybe that are like a real fluorescent like this. Some that's maybe a little bit more subtle like this based on water clarity. But knowing that it's perch based, probably going to throw something that has a stripe in it just because it's, it's something that might trigger a fish's interest because it's similar, but yet it's a little bit different. So use the match the hatch theory as a good starting point, but not necessarily the rule of trying to duplicate a perch perfectly in this example. Get something that's close and experiment with colors, maybe some naturals, maybe some real fluorescence, but use that as a starting point and then go from there. I'm Scott Walsh and that's your Midwest Outdoors tip. You know, a lot of fishermen take great care and they pack a lot of lures in their tackle box. Well, one thing you need more than anything is good quality line, because if that goes, there goes your lures, there goes your fish. So whenever you're out fishing, whether you're in your backyard pond or whether you're on a trip somewhere, always keep extra line in your tackle box. You never know when you're gonna need to re-spooling your entire reel to just using a new leader. I'm Larry Ladowski and that's another tip from Midwest Outdoors.